Hello Lord Nerds, today is a little spooky video. It is not going to be our spookiest, as I do have a good one saved up for Halloween, so look out for that, but it should still suit the season. So today's video will be covering the Raven Queen, a fairly popular deity uh, entity. So who is she? She is a very mysterious, lawful, neutral entity that resides within the Shadowfell, this place. In there, she is revered as a deity by the Shadow Kai. So, as a brief explanation of who the Shadow Kai are, um, it's most commonly believed that long ago they were a kingdom of regular elves. The Raven Queen was quite possibly the queen of these elves before the ritual. And the Shadar Kai pledged themselves to the Raven Queen as she attempted to gain divinity in order to stop the conflict between Loth and Corallon, which I will cover if I cover those deities at some point. This failed likely due to the interference of some evil wizards, and the Raven Queen, along with the Shadar Kai, were siphoned into the Shadowfell. Sadly, both Carlon and Loth saw this ritual as an act of treason, and so they erased her from the memory of all elves. This, of course, does not include the Shadarchai, who were pulled into the Shadowfell with her, but all other elves have no memory of, of the Raven Queen. She most commonly appears as but a series of miscellaneous symbols and imagery. Most often, the depictions of her as a dark-haired humanoid are just that, depictions. That failed ritual actually dissolved her form, so now she simply exists as a series of perceptions with no real physical form, making her even more mysterious. Another possible story is that she was once a sorceress who led a rebellion against the former god of death, Pluton. To prevent her from becoming a tyrant like Pluton, the other gods made her a goddess of death, but with no command over the dead themselves. I do see this as a less likely origin story for two reasons. First, it doesn't explain where the Shadarchai came from, unless possibly they were part of the rebellion. And secondly, she does have control over the dead, at least some of them, as she holds dominion over the souls of the Shadar Kai, which makes the most sense in the first story as they pledge themselves to her. She is obsessed with collecting fragments of memories and essences, possibly to help her gain form again. Many think she is quite possibly insane, which is understandable considering she was magically torn apart. Although others state that she does serve a cosmological purpose, helping purify souls by forcing them to sort out their fears and pain. It is believed that only the Lady of Pain knows her true intentions, the Lady of Pain being an entity I might cover some other time, so don't worry about her yet. Most of what she does is this collecting of memories and strong emotions, typically loss and tragedy, which is likely what she feels most of the time. She sends out her Shadar Kai to collect mementos and trinkets and other such things related to these events. While it is debated whether or not she's an actual god, uh, she does possess a divine realm. This is a castle within the Shadowfell known as the Fortress of Memories. It is a place of overwhelming sorrow filled with the memories of mortals and the dead. Swarms of ravens sometimes fly out of the fortress, delivering the Raven Queen's messages throughout the cosmos. She was the first to create sentient weapons infused with shadow magic, such as the Black Razor. Many of these have the ability to bond with the host, which makes the Raven Queen a popular Hexblade patron among warlocks. She has many enemies, such as the demon lord Orcus, who has long sought control of the Shadowfell. Orcus hopes to find a weakness in her by discovering her true name. Another of her enemies is the lich god Vecna, who is envious of her ability to tap into souls and harvest knowledge. 
Many wizards and necromancers also crave her domain and control of souls, but attacks on her fortress, which are fairly regular, are always thwarted by her fanatical Shadar Kai. But that would be about all we have to cover on the Raven Queen for today, so I do hope you liked this video, and if you did, look out for the next one, and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.